Black TV here. I'm here with Jared. Jared, what's going on, mate? Oh, it's just a tough one to take, really. Um, no, it's a tough pool to swallow. It is. It's, it's just um, standard this season. We really haven't had anything going our way in terms of, I don't know, just you know, coach changes and momentum swings. It's just, it just hasn't been our season. It's just very usually, tough. Usually, tough state. Usually you hope when your coach changes something positive, you get a positive outcome out of it, kind of, you know, like a little fairy tale run and then obviously you go back into reality. But we've never had that. No, we haven't had that at all. No, it's just hard. Um, you know, we've rooted him coming in. He's, you know, he's a very old school type of coach, and I'm sure he's got his own style. And it's whether the players need to adapt to that. But um, yeah, it just wasn't to be. So we'll just say, hopefully next season, there's a lot to lot to think about. It's a um, very, very, very. Lot, lot to think, think about is whether how many players they're going to bring in, how players going to go out. I'm just very interested to see what signings and what style of play he's going to produce yeah. um, on the pitch. And well, a lot of always you have to know about it. It's like if you're going to bring someone in, you need to see. You need to see a style like we're talking about now. You need to see a style. And I'll be honest with you, I, I haven't seen a style. I don't not, know. not since Popovich. Yeah. No, just every other coach. There's no brand. Like any, every coach they bring, it just oh, yeah. looks all the same to me. It's, just, it's all the same, but like I said, you just have to wait and see what's going to happen next season, what plays we could potentially sign and who's out there. You mm. just have to wait and see. Yeah, today, today's game, I don't, I don't even know what to talk about, man. Like, fucking, we, it's, like, we've done well first half. We came yeah, out first, firing. Yeah, first 25 minutes, I thought it was pretty good. You know, it's. I was just joking. It said at times it was like peak Barcelona. Passing, yeah. the ball, passing the ball around with quality and precision. And then afterwards, I think the momentum started to shift. They, must, they heard you, probably. They probably they did. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then, um, yeah, they got, got a bit... Uh, I think carried away a little bit, and then they got themselves back into the game. And you could see it was one-way traffic from there on out. Yeah, well, as soon as as soon as they peg, as soon as they peg peg one back. Well, we had it at two. We could have had it at two nil, but you know, I think finishing has been a problem, and that needs addressing next season with a whole whole new front line. I said from the start, just the front line has been not up to scratch in terms of uh, quality and depth. Mm. No, no one Mm. to. We don't have. We don't have the playmaker. We don't have the like. No. Trace is there, but it's, but he's not quality. Yeah, though. he's like he's just there. He's just... well, he's just he's a squad player. I'm not saying he's not quality, but just yeah, we haven't had that quality number ten. You need to build around that. Yeah, but we'll have to wait and see. We need a hungry striker as well. Oh, definitely. Like, don't get me wrong, Hemet's hungry, but so we haven't had the depth to cover him. Mm, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's the problem. So that's the problem. That's what I mean. I was talking to Kevin before. I said he's taken Hemet off. He's bringing Rothwell on. Yeah, so exactly. What are they playing a false line up side? What's, what's just, the point when you're chasing the game? We're just toothless up front and we'll 2 one down by then. Mate. I'm pretty sure we will. Yeah, definitely. It was just, it's so, like yeah. false nine. What's the point? Hmm. It's, a, it's a disaster. Well, I'm thank, I thank, thank God it's over because this, this game actually caught me by surprise. Didn't know it was actually happening until Malta blurb that out. Oh, I knew it was happening. I was always wanting to come, but you know, when you see performances like that, you just have to just you have to keep trying. Mm. As a man, you fan, I have to do the same thing oh. <laughs> every day. Oh. <laughs> so you're copying it from both angles. A little bit. Yeah, I'll say I'm, I'm, I'll probably say I'm in the same boat, but yeah, I've dropped off that. I'm mainly wanderers, strictly wanderers. Of course. Yeah. Strictly wanderers. I've got my own here. That's right. But like, like I said, if we can build on well next season with a potential top six finish, I think six is achievable, but it's a pass mark, and then hopefully the season's upon that, you build on it. Mm. That's, That's all you can so. say, really. Oh, well. We'll wrap it up here and. I'll see you next season, man. No the rain's picking up now, anyway. No worries. Appreciate Beautiful. all your work, fellas. This no worries, season's man. Been, it's been fantastic. Oh, you're always welcome to come on, brother. Don't be shy. Excellent. Opinion well, hopefully matters. It's, hopefully, it's not off-season content to keep us going. Well, we'll think of something. We've got to think of stuff. You've got to throw us ideas. Yes, throw definitely. us ideas, yeah, and definitely. we'll do something. There you go. Sure. All right, we're out.